In this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about CQV reload. Now, I'm going to make myself, you know, go through a more difficult task than necessary because I'm going to incorporate low light. I'm going to incorporate a, a actual gas, an actual gas mask, and I'm going to be kneeling when I actually conduct a uh, reload. I'm going to be kneeling. I'm going to be conducting a reload on the pistol, and I'm going to be conducting a reload on the rifle in the kneeling. And that's a lot harder because you're in the kneeling, you got to keep balance. Instead of like standing where everything just falls into place and everything, it's a little bit different in the kneeling. It really is. So, pretty much everything gets me in on power stroking the gun and stuff like that, how to manipulate the light properly just to demonstrate. So I'm going to do one slow, show you guys what I'm doing. And then I'm going to do one normal speed for, you know, my training. So, it's going to take a little bit. Snacks and drinks, everyone. Here we go. So what would lead us to go to our pistol? Well, it would probably be a transition because we're out of ammunition or we have a malfunction. In this case, I have a malfunction, or not a malfunction, but I don't have a malfunction. I have a reload that I need to conduct. I'm just out of ammunition, so I need to keep up the rate of fire for with the pistol. And this is in this is simulating the closed space. We're not talking about you know using it in the wood line. The technique would be a bit different because of, you know, movement that you would have to make in open terrain. Movement is your security, so you kind of have to incorporate that when you're transitioning and going back and forth. You have a little bit more leeway in certain things, but this is CQB. It's a little bit more intricate and relies on teamwork and stuff like that and communication. I don't have anybody to communicate with except for you guys, but I'm not going to be you know, making a ridiculous video like that because every team has their own SOPs on communication and stuff like that or how they like to put their foot up the, the other person's butt to let them know that they can get up or whatever. Whatever the SOP is after you're doing a transition and being ready to go back. Because some of the stuff requires you to go into a corner and put yourself in timeout until you get your gun back up and running. It's just how it is. I know the FBI plus the rescue team does that, for instance. So... With that said, let's go ahead and get into this. Enough jabbing, or jabbing. So, first thing first, got an unloaded rifle here, and it's ready to go. Got unloaded rifle mags, two of them, and I got two pistol mags. An appropriate time for a pistol reload is typically a three second part time from identification to uh, your next shot. For a rifle reload, shouldn't take any longer than four seconds. Really shouldn't. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, we're not going really for time, we're going for the procedure. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a presentation with my light. And engage, bang, 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 fake, bang, and then, oh, I'm out. So I'm going to conduct the transition. If you have a pressure switch that is constant on, you're going to have to flick that again. It takes time. Now, if you have a pressure switch where you hold it, it's a little more convenient because you can just let go of it during the transition and go to your pistol light and you know take care of business there. And from here, okay, I identify that I'm out, so I disengage my light and conduct my reload accordingly. So I identify that I'm out, flip up the gun, I flip up the gun, and then I roll it back. And the first thing I'm going to do is release this hand and go for my mag. Because this is an important thing. It takes a little bit of time to get the grip. Not too long, but long enough to where, you know, this hand can really go at its own speed. And you can still do a reload and get the shot out within 30 seconds. You don't have to go too ridiculously fast. It's all about technique and learning that efficiency and comfort with the process. So, identification, disengage. There, and your shot's back on. I fumbled with the mag well a little bit because I didn't really get a very good uh, grip on the magazine. It was a little bit jumbled because these gloves are starting to fall apart. But 
know, it is what it is. So, anyways, I'm back in action. I have my light. So now, I'm good to go. Now I pick up my rifle. I keep my eyes on the threat, right? I bring this up into my career, my my vision, and then I quickly glance at it with my eyes. I don't, you don't necessarily have to tip your head, but you can depending on the situation, but quickly do it, and then back on the threat, and then you conduct a transfer. Sometimes they say, you know, use your light to look at your gun, whatever. Do what you feel you need to do for the uh, situation that you're in. Identify, and then take the light off, holster, and immediately get to work. Now this, quickly conduct a reload, and I'm back in action. Step down my retention for the magazines, and I'm ready to go. And then I get back up. Simple as that, guys. So now I'm going to go, you know, regular. And I forgot to turn on my light. I haven't been doing very much low light. Shame on me, right? So, with that said, let's go ahead and go at normal ish pace, shall we? So, low light practice. Usually I have the lights out to remind me I need to see my target. That's why it's a little bit difficult here. But you need to see what I'm doing. Pardon me. So, conduct a presentation, bang, 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 fake bang, and then, yeah, I have the light on, because again, usually in my training, I'm all blacked out, so I have to see my target, so I have to use my light. Sorry, I forgot. Bang, 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 fake bang, transition, bang. Okay, so, there we go. Okay, identify them out. Get the relay, get back in action. There we go. And again, I fumbled a little bit, trying to go faster for, you know, the good effect. Now I'm ready to get to my rifle. Let's see. Here we go. All right. And we're back in action. Boom. Okay, that was okay. I kind of fumbled with my pistol man, but it's bound to happen every now and then. But uh, usually it's all good, I'm just going at my own pace and and I'm not too worried. I just want to honestly see if I can beat the timer. There I kind of sped up, trying to impress the ladies, right? So, bad idea. Just go at your own pace, build that speed naturally. Don't be like me. So, I hope that was somewhat helpful for you guys. I appreciate you guys watching and I'm glad that we were all able to stay safe because you're able to watch me and stay safe from COVID because I'm just doing the right thing by wearing a gas mask. So, anyways, you guys, have a good one.